Silicon quantum computing has delivered the first quantum integrated circuit manufactured at the atomic scale, achieved two years ahead of schedule. Building on this achievement, SQC were able to precisely simulate the molecule polyacetylene. I really love Richard Feynman because he, he basically said, if you want to understand how matter works, how nature works, how the world works, then you have to build things at the same length scale. Until recently, with the invention of the scanning tunneling microscope, that was impossible. But now we have the technology to be able to literally put atoms where we want them. Quantum simulators have the promise to be used for simulating large-scale systems to which we can't solve classically. There are just so many different interactions that uh, you just don't have the computing power, even with the most powerful supercomputers, you just can't solve these things classically. By placing phosphorus atoms in silicon at precise distances apart, we can build a quantum simulator to exactly mimic the carbon-carbon, single and double bonds that form the polyacetylene molecule. To our quantum simulator, we add a source, drain, and control gates to form an integrated circuit where we can load electrons and tune the gates to measure current through the chain. To prove that we can accurately simulate polyacetylene, we made two separate processors. One where we cut through the molecule to leave double bonds at both ends, and the other leaving single bonds at each end. For the processor with double bonds at the ends, we observe peaks in the current as every electron passes through the 10-dot chain. For the processor with single bonds at the ends, the current dramatically changes. The first four electrons are trapped in the middle of the chain, and we see no increase in current. However, the fifth and sixth electrons do make it through the chain via the single bonds at the ends. This gives a double peak as expected, with the remaining electrons again being trapped. This dramatic change in the current signature confirms long-standing theoretical predictions and demonstrates our ability to precisely simulate the polyacetylene molecule. So we wanted to be able to design the device, make and measure the device in-house. And that's what's fantastic about silicon quantum computing. We've got all of that infrastructure here. By figuring out how to put atoms in certain locations, we could start to mimic how nature behaves. And then we can start to make new kinds of materials and devices that the world has never seen before. SQC is now focused on engaging partners who can provide industrially relevant molecules to simulate. With SQC's in-house manufacturing capabilities, they are able to fabricate processors customized to their use cases. SQC is now working on devices to simulate larger molecules, such as graphene, a two-dimensional material that could be used in low-energy electronics. Other exciting materials to simulate include high-temperature superconductors and organic photovoltaic molecules to improve solar cell efficiency. New types of materials such as how do you get high temperature superconductivity, how do you understand the pathways of electrons in an organic molecule, and people have started looking at artificial photosynthesis as a potential application, or you know in the long term how do you design different drugs or catalysts. So it really is the first time at this very small level we've been able to make things that didn't exist before. Then we can understand why some materials work and then engineer new materials. It's really just opening the door to a whole new world.